to Steam Family Fun at Home. Today we're going to be making crystals. I'm going I'm going to be making my crystals out of sugar. My mad scientist dad is going to be making his crystals out of sugar. I mean salt. salt. <laughs> and and mad scientist one is going to be making her crystals out of so, a word on materials and supplies before we start. So we're using salt, plain old table salt, like you put on your fish and chips. Maybe using sugar. Now you may not have borax at home. We're fortunate enough that we do have some, but people sometimes have it for cleaning and things. And we have it for making slime, which has been quite popular lately. If mum or dad or someone has got Epsom salts out in the garden shed, you can use that. Um, that's the main things that people might commonly have. So you need a jar or a container. You can use a jar from sources. You can use a glass or a mug. Uh, you can either cut down a soft drink container or something like that. You don't have anything handy. You need a pencil or a stick or something across the top. And you just need something for your crystals to form on. I'm using cotton with a tiny little knot in the middle, which you can't even see. Mad scientist number two is using... I'm using a pipe cleaner and some stone. And she's made it into a cool shape, so her crystals will form in a neat shape. I'm using a pipe cleaner and string as well, except mine's in a different shape, so it'll form into the shape. So Mad Scientist number one is going to explain to us how crystals work. Oh uh, yes, and the food colouring, you can add food colouring to your crystals and it does give them a little bit of colour in the solution. Okay, so if you dissolve either sugar, salt, or borax in hot water, it forms a super saturated solution, which is when it can't dissolve anymore. If you put it in room temperature water, not much dissolving will happen, but if you put it in hot water, like boiling or close enough, we have close enough, um, then... Um, it will dissolve more like uh, more. closer to full flame. Um, if, yeah, the molecules dissolve even more. But if you leave it, um, after some time, it'll cool down, letting the liquid um, evaporate, solidifying it, eventually leaving you with crystals. Right, so for safety's sake, we're going to use just hot water out of the tap, which is cooled down a wee bit. If mum or dad or someone is very closely supervising, you could try using boiling water, but that's not quite so safe, so I'm not recommending that one. So as mad scientist number one said, the hotter your water is, the faster those little molecules are moving, and the more salt or sugar or borax they will pull apart and hide in solution. And then as it cools down, they move slower, and some of that stuff starts to come out of solution, and also... Over time, if you leave it somewhere warm, like a windowsill in the sun, or on top of the heater, not that you're probably running a heater this time of year, or in the hot water cupboard, somewhere like that, slowly as the water evaporates, there's less and less room in between all those molecules, and so the salt, or the sugar, or the borax will come out of solution, and it will crystallise. And hopefully it will crystallise on the thing you've given it as what's called a seed, or to accumulate around, but you could also use a little stone, um, and maybe see what other things you could come up with that you could use from around the house or the garden to form crystals around. A stone with texture is best. Yes. I did see an idea online where someone used a half an eggshell and they look quite impressive. So there's a wee little idea. So first we're going to add some water into our jars. And then we'll all start putting in our substances. Technically it's called a solute, what we're going to dissolve in our solution. So you put salt in. Sugar. Sugar. Sugar, sorry. How much do I put in? Start with a couple of teaspoons. Okay. You... How See? much sugar do I put in? I'm not sure, so we'll start with a couple of teaspoons and give it a jolly good stir. Do I stir with this? Yep, and give it a stir down the bottom. So you want to keep adding more of your solute in until no more dissolves. But you don't want loads and loads left in the bottom of your container, if possible. If you end up with lots and lots in the bottom of your container that hasn't dissolved, what I would recommend 
is that you very gently let it settle for a minute. So all the undissolved crystals are down the bottom. And then very gently pour off your solution into another container. Rinse out the crystals and pour it back into the container you want it to make your crystals in. Because if you've got crystals that haven't dissolved lying in the bottom, they will all your crystals will form there instead of on your cool shape, like your pipe cleaner or your piece of string. Right, would you like to pause the video there? Mad scientist number one. Hello, welcome back. So it's probably like a five or ten minute process to keep on adding teaspoons, stir it up, add some more, stir it up. It takes quite a while. We're possibly not even here yet. So we're each going to add a little bit of our food colouring. I wouldn't add too, too much because it would be hard to see your crystals forming. So there's a few drops for me. I'm going to try red salt crystals, see what they come out like. I'm going to try blue. I'm going to try yellow. Oh, that worked. And so then we put our sticks in ready, and then we wait. Take yep, take a spoon, pop your shape in. It might take a few dips to get your shape in, and sunk down. And if you don't have pipe cleaners, string will work fine. That's it. So if you're lucky enough to have borax, within a few hours you might see crystals start to form. If you're like mad scientist number two or mad scientist dad like me, you might have to wait a day or two or three or four. It could take quite a while. But over time, as that water evaporates, you should see crystals start to grow. Also, here's a diagram on um, what happens. So you start with the sugar, salt or borax. Depends on what you're using or different types of salt. Um, then as you add in the, then you add in the water and... And this is what starts happening. So it starts to dissolve. So see the water and see how the they're all all the sugar and borax and salt crystals all floating around in the water. And um and they are uh, um, getting smaller as you can see. Right, so we'd love for you to share what you used and what kind of crystals you got or how well it worked. And in about a week's time, we'll do a follow-up video and we'll show you how we got on with our crystals. Thank you very much. Stay safe. Bye. Bye.